this video, you will see how to append or split files with Talon. The first small subject that you see here uses the append option in the basic settings of the file output component. And the second subjob uses the split output option in the advanced settings of the output component. This is the short answer. If you want to see the long answer, join me heading over to Talent Open Studio. Here's the job that I was also showing on the small picture on the presentation. And I got a first small sub process here, which is a helper to generate any random number of files with any random number of rows. So this T loop component here creates between seven and 14 loops, at least one uh, to uh, generate any number of files in this range and then I got a really simple setup here for what uh, random data to generate. It's two columns. The file ID would be in the ID from the current iteration and some ASCII random string random data. And here down here you can see how I fill those. Here I use the talent string and ASCII random string function to generate a a random string of six characters length and here I'm using the one of the variables available from T loop component. Okay, how to get this? Uh, you might wonder here on the left hand side in the outline you can see there's a current value which and this component provides and that's what I want to use. So how to insert that here? You start typing parts of the name of this component and then uh, press control and spacebar in combination and here you get the list of respectively available values and you select a current value and press return. So this fragment of code is inserted here and pretty much the same to uh, I use to make the uh, file name uh, individual, right? So this part here is a fixed part and the extension as well, but then I insert in the current iterations value to make it individual because otherwise I would just override the previous file with the next pass of this job with the next iteration uh, of this sub process and that would not make any sense. So now let's run it this way. Uh, to look at my output directory, you can see it's now 10 executions and the last one had 128 rows. We can here see here are 10 files and this one should have 128 rows. And that's exactly it. All right, so back to Talent Open Studio. Now we got some small files for the next sub job, which is this one here. Sorry, let me activate this. Right click and activate current sub job to only activate in this. Here I will pick up in the small files and append them into this output file. So first of all, let's start with the output file, right? It's in another directory. So in order to not append the appended file in uh, in itself again, okay? And here using the append option, what I already shown on the presentation. And then first of all here to find the small files, we have to look at the directory where they are. Then we find the files in this directory and we only want to find files and we want to find files with have and that have this naming pattern. And then for each iteration, we pick up in the respective small file. And also here to make this file name and path and dynamic, I use a variable from file list uh, equivalent, uh, pretty much similar to what we used here from T loop. When we open this here, we can see there is one which is described with current file name with path and its technical name is current underscore file path and that's what we use here. So also here I start writing parts of this name T file L for example and I use control space uh, to access my list. And I use this one here which is in my list in the fourth value and press return to convert it into this fragment of code. So in each iteration for the currently found file we get its respective file path with the complete uh, folder uh, path plus and the name. And then we take this and append it into this target file. Okay and now let's run in this sub job to see in the respective result. We can also see here it's again 10 files like the number of files that we created above and for the last one it was uh, 183 rows. Now we see that on my output directory. 
here is in this file we've got the appended data in it and here we can also for example look at how many times does 10 and semicolon appear here and you can see here at the bottom uh, it's saying uh, 128 matches all right and that's our appended file so that's how easy it is to take all those small files and append them into this large file obviously here in between if you don't use a full file input folder but a more specific file input component you could do any transformation or whatsoever uh, besides appending just the files okay but now let's deactivate this sub job and let's activate the last sub job here we do the opposite right we will take this uh, large file this append file i called it here and uh, simply read that as also just one single column that's why it's okay to use this file input full row uh, component and specify the path and basically nothing else right because this file input full row has in this schema already defined for us and then here on this output component uh, this can be in the same directory there's no problem i give a another name but obviously of course and here the secret is in advanced settings i activated the option to split uh, the file is split output in several files right and this one here per default it would say 1000 but you can change it to whatever value you want so i will take 500 here and we can let's head back to our appended file to a large file to see how many rows it had if it makes sense well we should get three output files right two of 500 and another one with the rest in it and we can run this so here we can see it's 1397 in total and we can verify by looking at these two fi uh, these three files here one with 500 another one with uh, 500 and the last one with the remaining rows which were 379 in our case all right and for those two sub jobs besides the helper job this is how easy it is in a talent to generate one a large file uh, from several small files and here split a one a large file into several small files and if you like the video and if you want to learn more head over to bit.ly slash talent and data this is my course on talent on all the talent basics and uh, up to very advanced stuff uh, there you will learn everything you would need to really use talent so see you in the next video or see you in my course